Howdy, um, Max here again, talking to you today about the MXR 6-band EQ, classic pedal, great pedal. Um, I did another video about EQ pedals in general and how you can use them, so I'm only going to touch on that shortly today. I mean, this is going to be a really short video. Um, I'm just going to kind of run through this so you can really get, give, a, give a listen to what it sounds like and um, how you can, a very small idea of how you can use it. Check out that other video for more about ideas about how to use it, not so much how this specific one sounds. Um, okay. Um, so the main thing about EQ pedals is they're really important. Actually, they're really useful for tuning your uh, your whole pedal rig to um, to the room you're in, to the guitar amp you're using. If you're gigging around a lot and you're using different amps at different venues, it's really useful to be able to just you know plug in move a few sliders and uh, you know get the sound you want. Um, it's a really great way to be able to dial that in. Um, so let's go. Oh, I'm using the Muff Overdrive um, just for reference and I might use some of the internal overdrives in my guitar. So here we are. So this is with just straight through Clean signal. There's a little bit of a burp on the amp. So here's the um, here's the muff. Those are the basic sounds we're playing with. Now I'm going to kick in the um, I'm going to kick in the MXR. You can see there's no difference because it's it's flatlined right now. And I'm going to show you the different frequencies. So the lowest one is 100, 100 hertz. That is, and that's like a pretty basic bass frequency. That's with it taken out. So flat. No bass, all the way up. So you can see that sounds pretty muddy. I mean, 100 hertz is about, it's pretty close to the frequency, the kind of frequency that you feel, not really here. So it might not even, I don't know, I mean, I hope my setup is decent enough to pick it up. Maybe yours isn't decent enough to transmit it, you know, I don't know. But that's one of those frequencies that's more felt than heard. Um, I'm going to bring it down a little bit later on, but, you know, for now, I'll leave it there. Um, second frequency is 200, which is kind of like boxy, chunky. So here's a flat. All the way up. Still pretty deep. All the way out. So we're already starting to hear a more significant difference. Um, here's the next one, 400. Flat. All the way up. Way down. So now it's starting to like kind of like the meat, you know. Oh man, all these words are so crazy, right? <laughs> it's it's irrelevant, but you know you know what I mean. Okay, then here's um, here's 800, which is the next one, all the way up. Well, first flat, all the way up. It's trying to get some edge. All the way down. It's kind of dull without that one. Personally, I think 400 and 800 are kind of the most important electric guitar frequencies. But that's my opinion. Um, next one is 1.6 uh, K kilohertz. So that's, um, you know, 800 kilohertz, 1600 kilohertz. Use it all the way well, flat, all the way up. That's pretty high end. Pretty trebly. Look it out. Kind of dull. Um, 3.2 kilohertz, so 3200. Flat. All the way up. All the 
way down. That's almost you can hear it more in the down spot. That's probably even like this kind of sound is mostly what that is. See? You know, like incidental sounds. That's the kind of thing you turn up if you want really crisp, clear, um, you know, fiddly sounds, um, which I like a lot. Um, not necessarily for this kind of guitar playing that this guitar does. Okay, so here's flat again. As I said before, I feel like 400 to 800 is kind of the most important frequencies. 16k is pretty feels pretty meaty too. Let's kind of I mean those three are maybe like what I'd say are the most important ones. So I'm gonna turn up 400 about halfway. I'm gonna turn up 800 about halfway, and 1.6 about a quarter of the way. All right, back down to flat. Eight hundred sixteen. You can already hear it's a lot meatier, it's a lot more of what I want. If you're playing with a band too, this is great because you know. So that's flat. You know what I mean? Can you, you can hear that, right? Um, as I was saying, if you're playing with a band, this is great because, like, I don't want my guitar's bass to be felt. You know what I mean? Um, I want the bass's bass to be felt. Bass's bass to be felt. The bass player's over there, in my imagination. So I'm gonna take out 100 completely. Bam. Here's the difference between... So 400 up, 800 up, 16k up. And 100 just flat. 100 out of the picture. You can hear that doesn't really affect the tone negatively, like it doesn't take the meat out of it. And yet, that's more space for your bass player to be in, you know? That's where he's located, or she's located. Actually, the bass player in my band is a woman, so... Um, she's located. 200, I'm just going to crank down just a little bit, like a quarter, quarter way down. Now I'm starting to hear it lose some meat. Let's do that again. Flat. Just a little notch down. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave that there. Actually, you do have to in EQ. You do have to sacrifice a little bit of what you want in each. You know, each individual instrument might not sound at the best alone, but together everything sounds good. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. Um, I am not that interested in this 32k stuff for this guitar. I mean, for acoustic guitar, I would do that. I'm gonna take that down just a little bit. Like that's down all the way, actually. That's too bright. And you can also hear it. Listen to this. I hope you can hear that. Hiss. This EQ pedal is totally EQing out that hiss. Another function of EQ pedals. So I'm not going to bring that all the way down, but I'm just going to crank it down just a little bit because it's not. You're not really losing anything important. At least I don't believe so. Again, this is all sub this is all subjective, you know what I mean? It's what you want it to sound like. This is what I like. Very meaty. In fact, almost to the point that like this clean guitar is almost kind of sounding overdriven. It's almost getting that without just like just on the edge of dirt, you know? That's cool. Okay. I'm gonna try with the muff now. So here's the muff. Ooh, that's ugly. I thought I was going to take out some of this. Just muffle on. It's just kind of more active, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to try something really quickly, and then we're going to be done. I'm seeing this video is already kind of too long. Um, talking more about using EQ to edit out hits. So that's 16, 32k. That's 16k. Your hiss is almost totally gone. And it's not. Hiss is gone. And yet, this still sounds great. So, um. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you can use EQ pedals for so many things. This is the MXR 6-band EQ. It sounds 
phenomenal. Um, it's very easy to use. The uh, the sliders all light up. It's great. I would highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for an EQ pedal. And I highly recommend EQ to somebody who's like, something that just isn't right about their setup, you know? You've got all the pedals you want, you've got all the sounds you want, your guitar's great, your amp's great, but you're just kind of like, it's not there, what do I need? Probably what you need is EQ. So, my two cents on that. Have a good whatever day I upload this on, and um, see you next time.